When you study God's precious word, what an encouragement it is to find that God never gives a command to his child without giving them the strength and the ability to perform it. In John's Gospel, chapter 11, we have the Lord Jesus standing with Mary and Martha at the grave of Lazarus. The Lord Jesus said with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with great clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus saith unto them, Loose him and let him go. And friend, here was a, a man that had been held in the bond of death. But with a word of command from Christ, death had to let him go. And even though he had the grave clothes upon him, he walked out of the grave. And it says, many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did, believed on him. And then in John's Gospel, chapter 5, the Lord Jesus comes to the pool of Bethesda. There's a man lying there. He has had an infirmity for 38 long years. He has tried to get healing by getting into the pool, but he cannot. There was no one else to help him. But Jesus did not simply look on him with pity. But the Lord Jesus asked him if he wanted to be healed. And then Jesus said, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. Thank God the command of Christ was his enablement. In John's Gospel, chapter 9, you have the story of the man that was born blind. The Lord Jesus comes to that man and sees him in his need. But he doesn't leave him that way. Because the Lord Jesus spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle and anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And he said unto him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam. And he went his way thereof and washed and came seeing. Praise God, that word of command, go. And he went in the strength of the Lord. And his neighbours thereof, and they which had before seen him that he was blind, said, Is not this he that sat and begged? His life was changed for good. In Matthew chapter number 12, we have the story of the man who had the withered hand. And Jesus said to him, Stretch forth thine hand and praise God. It was made whole, for he obeyed the Lord. In the book of Exodus, we find the Lord commanding Moses because Israel had come to the Red Sea in a moment of great crisis. They could see no way through. And then the Lord said, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. And they did. And God opened up a way and they walked on dry ground through the midst of the sea and they arrived safe on the other side. What an almighty God we have. In the book of Judges chapter 6 we have the story of the time that Israel was being oppressed by the Midianites seven long years and then God came to a young man who was threshing wheat and God spoke to him and he said go in this thy might and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have not I sent thee. And with that word of command, God gave Gideon the grace, the strength to go. And God delivered Israel. Maybe you're facing a situation and God has commanded you to do something. But you cannot see how. You're going to perform it. My friend, get your eyes of yourself and get your eyes upon the Lord for his command is your enablement. I heard the story of a little boy that was standing outside his daddy's study. He knocked on the door and his daddy said, 
Come in, son. The boy said, Daddy, I can't. He said, just open the door and come in, son. The wee lad reached his hand up to the knob of the door and he tried to turn it, but he couldn't. And then his father realised that his son had obeyed, but hadn't the ability to do his command. And so the father got up and opened the door and the wee boy came in with great joy into the study. My friend, if God's telling you to do something, he's not mocking you. He'll give you the strength and the grace and the ability to do it. Obey him. Just believe. Heavenly Father, bless your word to our hearts in Jesus' precious name. Amen. From my heart to yours, home to yours. God bless you.